Today I'm going to teach you how to make a hoverable drop down menu in the uh, venture theme on Shopify. So here I just have a completely new venture theme file on a Shopify test store. And you can see the current behavior when I mouse over the catalog, uh, nothing happens. What we want to happen is when we mouse over this catalog, this animation should trigger and this drop down menu should come down. And then also we can make it so when we mouse over these menu items, the sub menu will appear as well. I think coverable menus are a nice feature to have on a website. They make it look a little bit more crisp. And uh, in my experience, they tend to improve conversion rates slightly. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our online store um, and we want to edit the code. So to do that, we click on this online store, go over to actions here, click edit code. Now it'll load. And uh, the th file that we want to be working with is this theme.scss.liquid. And uh, if that's not already open for you, sometimes it would be. Uh, but if it's not, you can just go down to this assets folder here, click on assets, click on theme.scss.liquid, right? Then it'll open. What we want to do is we want to go all the way down to the bottom here. And so once you've scrolled all the way down to the bottom here, what you want to do is you want to leave a comment uh, letting you know that basically this code is added and that way if anything breaks on your site ever you know the code you've added and you know that the code that you've added is probably what's interacting with something breaking um, whatever on your site and you can tweak the code you've added versus going all the way through all of this code that um, Shopify has so uh, Something like main drop down here, like I already have listed is fine. Um, to, to leave a comment, you just, um, as you can see, you just uh, use a slash and then asterisk and then type whatever. And then to end the comment, you're gonna go asterisk slash. Um, but yeah, so so go ahead and just leave a comment like main drop down here. Um, and then I already have this in. I have this uh, code snippet, I'm gonna, uh, put it up in the video right now, but it's also going to be in the description of the video and that way you can copy paste it. So I'm going to re remove this comment commenting out and that's basically going to activate this code snippet. And so what this is doing is it's targeting us the site header class, which ends up being this uh, top bar here. And then it's targeting the site nav item, which is an individual um, title on one of these, like this catalog or this home. And then it's saying when you hover the mouse over that, um, target this mega nav and then do all this stuff to it. And this is a mega nav is this class and that refers to basically the this element that pops down. So what uh, the stuff that it's doing is it's basically turning the, the opacity and the visibility attributes to one invisible, which is basically gonna just make it so you can see it. Um, and the element will pop up, right? And then it's um, transforming the element and it's using this transition to make it a little bit smoother. Uh, and that way it doesn't just like pop up immediately. It doesn't just pop down immediately. Um, it will take 0.8 seconds uh, to come down. So this all refers to all the transitions happening. And right now there's actually two transitions happening. When we click, uh, you can see that that this menu is popping, coming down, but also the opacity of the menu is changing. And so this is gonna set all the transition times equal to 0.8 seconds. And then this cubic bezier is just gonna make a little fancy um, as far as the, the uh, rate at which it happens. And then the this opacity is now being set to 0.4 seconds, so it's gonna become opaque a little quicker and we have the same cubic bezier function there as well. Um, okay, so if we go ahead and save that and then refresh the site, now this, this should work. So you can see when I mouse over, basically we're getting this nice hover and the transition happens. And the only issue is that now um, when we hover over these, we still have to click these to get these to come out. You might actually want that behavior. Um, sometimes you don't want sub menus to be popping up all over the place. Um, but if you don't, then 
we are just going to use basically the same sort of function. Make sure you leave another comment again, um, like sub drop down or whatever. And then uh, we're just going to get rid of these uh, comments. This is going to come out. And uh, so you can see this uh, block of code works much in the same way as this block of code. Uh, the inside is actually all the same. The only thing is that's different is what it's targeting. So if we go ahead and save this and then refresh here, you'll see now when we mouse over this, we don't even have to click. Uh, we don't even have to click. It just pops up and we can mouse over and then we can click here. So that all works. Now we can play with a few things. Suppose you don't like how quickly this menu pops up or suppose you want it faster or whatever. Um, it's very easy to do that if you have the Google Chrome browser. If you just press Control shift c uh, it will bring up this uh, Chrome developer tools. We can, uh, let's toggle this device back to being on desktop and then we'll also toggle this. And if we just go here to sources, this is very useful for Shopify. So if we go to sources, basically, we want to get to this file that we're editing in the Chrome developer tools, which is this theme.scss.liquid. All of your code is going to be in this cdn.shopify.com. You open that up and then make sure you, um, this will be closed, but make sure you go ahead and open up S and then open up this files assets. And remember the uh, file we're looking for is theme.scss.liquid. Go ahead and open that up. And now we have this file in the Chrome DevTools. So we're going to go down to the very bottom of this file where we're currently editing. And you can see our, uh, you can see what we've added here, this main dropdown and the sub dropdown. Now, Chrome makes it very easy to edit these cubic Bezier functions, right? So um, if we go ahead and click these, right, you can see that this is the curve that is following right now. And what this basically means is that the transition is not going to happen uniformly. It's variable. It's happening at variable rates throughout while it's happening. So you can see this. They kind of give you a graphical representation of it, this pink dot going. And that's going to mirror how quickly it's happening here. If that doesn't make any sense, uh, I can explain it better in the comments if you want to ask um, down there. So we can change this on the fly and you can see we can make it really like very, very much different. And that's going to change the rate at which this is happening, this transition. Or we could make it, you know, we can use one of their whatever. We could make it very like uh, uniform and then it'll happen. You can see how it's changed it. The other thing we can change is, is how long it's taking, right? So for this opacity, let's say we want it to be like crazy, like five seconds or something. We change that. And now you can see how slowly it takes to become um, completely opaque. And then, so once you've played around with this stuff, you can just co go ahead and uh, copy this line of code. And uh, you can put it back in here just paste it and that way you can play around with it very quickly in the Chrome developer tools once you get the behavior you'd like then go back to Shopify paste it in hit save um, but that kind of looks the way that I have it that I've done it kind of looks kind of junky so I'm gonna go ahead and undo those changes and just make sure to save your code and at any time during, if you mess anything up with the Chrome developer tools, you can just refresh and it will go back to, it should go back to how it was. Let me make sure I didn't, uh, I didn't accidentally. Yeah, see, I, I accidentally changed it. So uh, let me change it back. Uh, let's get rid of this space. All right, so I can re refresh and it'll go back to the nice snappy behavior that it was before. All right, guys, so that's how you add a, a hoverable drop down menu in the venture theme. Uh, I'm recording this video on April 1st, 2021. So if, uh, if when you're watching is around that time, this should uh, still work. 
if this video helped you, uh, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to be uploading a lot more of these tips, uh, how you can make your site um, a little bit uh, more functional, how you can up improve your conversion rate on your site and whatnot with all this code. And if this video helped you, make sure you leave a like and a comment so other people can find this video so it can help them as well. And if there's anything that you're struggling with with Shopify as far as the code or as far as certain apps or whatever, uh, I'd love to hear from you in the comments section and perhaps I'll use it and make a video out of it. Um, so until next time, guys, uh, see you later.